What's going on everybody? It's your boy Bakizi and in this guide I'm gonna show you how to make money on interchange fast. Being completely honest, there are videos on this topic already and I'm gonna leave some of them in the description so you can check them out and maybe find something new that you might miss in my guide. But this has been extremely heavily requested video on my channel so I had to do it. Alright, no bullshit, very fast. First, I'm going to talk about the gear set that you need and then I'm going to show you three full routes for those of you who don't know interchange and who want to know how you need to run to get that loot fast, okay? I'm talking fast. And one more thing, as I said, no bullshit, but don't forget to stay hydrated while you're watching this video. Drink more water or you might die. All right. To make money on interchange fast, you will need to do as many runs as possible in a certain period of time that you have to play. So the more runs you play, the more expensive loot you're going to find on the map, the more money you will make. On interchange, it's pretty fast. You just remove your backpack and you use no backpack extract all the time because this extract is the fastest extract on the map and it works all the time. The only thing you have to do is you need to have no backpack. That will allow you to make the biggest amount of money possible in the shortest period of time. Keys that you will need. This loot run does not require you to have those keys, but it will increase the amount of money you're going to get from it. First one, key to American Medical Unit. Second is the Ultra Medical Storage Key. All right, the gear set that you need. Headset, whichever you like. Doesn't matter. Tactical rig. You're not going to be wearing backpacks, so you need a big tactical rig. You can use the one that is armored, or you can use the one that is not armored. You can use Blackrock, Alpha, TV, MPPV, AACPC, any big rig you want. Use it. It's very important. Having a big rig since you don't have a backpack. And maybe... Just put some of the meds in your container and the keys if you're going to bring the keys and leave your container empty. Let's talk about gun. Okay, best gun to make money, KS-23. Kills one shot to the leg, one shot to the arm, one shot to the stomach if it's not protected. Almost always, okay? If a lot, if decent amount of pellets hit, it will kill. But if we use this gun, use shrapnel 10 ammo, okay? That's what kills in one shot. However, if you're going to be using this gun, I'm going to call you a pussy and everybody is going to call you a pussy. If, you're, if you don't want to be a pussy, you want to be a real man, use a normal gun. Anything, anything you like, okay? That's it about the gear set. Talking about the loot that you're going to find and you can sell later. First item, graphics cards. The most expensive, the most important item that you're going to be looking for. Graphics cards. Expensive when they're found in raid. As well, expensive if you have a Bitcoin farm or you want to trade them with some other people if they're not found in rate. So always keep them even if you die. Next item, Ledex, 1 million. Tetris, 300k, going to be even cheaper considering the latest changes soon on the flea market. But still very worth to take. I think it's 70k if you sell it to a trader. Defibrillator, 300k. CPU, around 100k usually. CPU fan, 40k. Circuit board. 37, 40k. One G phone, 30k. Other G phones are like around 10k as well. GPX is about 20. Golden chain, 25k. RAM, right now it's for some reason 14k, but usually it's around 18, 20. And dry fuel, around 25k to traders as well. Good item. Depending on your spawn, you're gonna have to go to the mall that is close to you. Right now, I spawn right next to Ollie. So I'm going to go to Oli. I'm going to show you how to get to Oli from the underground. If you spawn in front of Oli, you go to Oli from the main entrance, go to the escalator. If you spawn uh, next to the Ultra main entrance, you can go up the escalator as well. And if you spawn right next to Idea, you go to the main entrance of Idea. If you spawn the backside of Oli, you go through the ramp, you go upstairs, and then you go inside of backside of Oli, and then you go to the tech stores. And same applies for uh, all the other spawns. So basically the closest store to you. That's where you go. We're interested in Oli and Idea. 
from this spawn, I'm gonna run to the basement because it's the fastest way to get inside. After that, I'm gonna turn left. First point of contact, enemy that got that, that spawn. You should be looking at left when you're sprinting in. And be careful about him. You go here. Next points of contact. The person who spawned backside of Oli. Who came up from ramp. If you don't see him, you continue moving. There's a person who will be going up from basement. You should be careful about him as well. If you don't see any of them. Or they allow you to get inside. You go inside Oli. Check all the shelves for tech spawns. This, this, this. Here. Here, 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 Tetris, here and here. After that, if you have fast pace, go up the escalator. Check on the right, there could be somebody running in the tech light. You go inside tech light, check here, GPU, here, here, CPU. On the top of the shelves. All the shelves from all the sides. And then if power is on, you can loot ultra medical for med spawns. Expensive rare med items. And here for additional medical item. And then you have to go down downstairs. Here you're gonna go to Rasmussen. Which might have people inside already. So listen. What I like to do is I run here. And I run across or jump like this. Usually you will hear a person on wood from far away. You check all those spawns. You find a graphics card. On all those shelves here. Inside this thing you can find a Tetris or any other tech spawn. On all those shelves. You check the items. And here. From this tech store you should have enough, enough loot to be able to extract. So you go either through generic or more safe way from there. But I'm gonna go through generic. Watch out for a killer spawn here. I'm gonna go through generic and I'm gonna check for a golden spawn right here. Usually it's a golden chain. And then you go to the extract. I'm gonna show you the fastest way to get to the extract. Go through Goshen. Watch out there's sometimes teams hiding there in the dark. Heavily depends on who's playing on your server. You should be careful. There's a fuel conditional spawn right here. And to get the fastest route to the no backpack extract, you'll need to go here. And then once you sprint here, to get the fastest way to the extract, I'm gonna jump on those crates, jump here, jump on the metal crate, do a little bit of parkour, Drop on the red box, and boom, you're at the extract. There's a dry fuel and fuel conditioner spawn right at the extract. Very convenient. Okay, so if you spawn in the middle in front of the main entrance, what you do is you sprint here, go inside the main entrance, it's very simple. You go up the, up the stairs, and then you turn to the right, straight. Run straight, and you're gonna get to Techno Store. And you can do the same route as you would do if you would spawn at Oli side. Just once again, be careful of other enemy spawns because this route is heavily contested because everybody wants to make the most amount of money. You might encounter enemies here and you might have to fight for your loot. Okay, we're in front of the mall. This is the ultra main entrance. This is idea entrance. And there is, you cannot see it, but there is Oli entrance. You have to go to the closest one to you. If we go to idea, our route is gonna be we go up the escalator and then we go into the idea offices.
You check here for tech spawn. Here for tech spawn as well. Here. And then your first point of contact could be here. Depending on your strength levels and endurance. Enemies could be here already. You check all those shelves real quick. And then from here, you're going to go to TTS store. Since you're playing without a backpack, you should not be uh, really looking for all the lion spawns inside of Idea. But if you do have a backpack, you can check for those spawns. There are a lot of money-making videos. Uh, and loot guides on how to find lions inside of Idea. You can go check them out. So this is the way to get to TTS. You turn here. Fastest way to get inside to get the loot. You jump right here. Go here and check here for Ladex. Those shells for tech spawns. And then these shells for tech spawns. After that, you go to Emercom. You need an Emercom key for that. Open it, go inside and check. Here there's Ledex spawns and Tech item spawns. They're pretty rare, but they still spawn here, so check it if you have an opportunity. After that, your goal is to get to German. German has Tech spawns, can spawn GPUs, can spawn Tetrises, can spawn CPUs and other expensive items. And then, if you have good expensive items found in raid, you're gonna go to extract, the one I showed you, no backpack extract. If you want to risk, you can go to Rasmussen. However, it most likely will be looted already. Still, you can risk it and loot Rasmussen. If Rasmussen is still somehow not looted, you can do the other tech. Tech spawns as well. Here's Techno and up there there is Tech Light. You can check for Beard Oil and other stuff inside this furniture store as well. 